Hi everyone, I'm Grattles and welcome to a new episode of City Skylines. This is Kintree Islands and if you're new to my channel and you don't know what I do, I do Let's Plays tutorials, tip tricks on City Skylines. So if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe and share. So the last time we left off, I redesigned the highway in the back part of the city and I did this to give us some room for some residential. It was just rather large and we had no room. So um, yeah, in today's episode, we're gonna raise up some of this population and um, I'm gonna build a whole new area. So stick around and uh, let's get to it. So here's the area we're gonna build in and I'm gonna terraform some of this land just to make it a little bit higher. And then over here by the airport, I'm also gonna add some high density. So we're gonna do a little bit of a mix and we're gonna have our neighborhoods basically going from low density, high density, low density, high density. It gives some character to it and it just transitions from, I guess, town to town or, you know, places like that. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and start building. I'm gonna start terraforming first and then we're gonna start building. I think we're gonna use the University City. We haven't used that yet and um, yeah, so let's get to it. So now that I got the land just about the right height that I wanted it, I did want it raised up so you can actually see it from farther away. And you could also see the city from far away, as long as it's not too foggy. Um, so I ran the six lane and in the last episode, like I said, that six lane carries quite a bit of traffic. And then I just kind of meshed this down to here. And that was, it's a nice smooth height, you'll see. As I get it in there, it just comes in really nice and smooth, and I kind of take you for a little look-see on it. And you can see it's really nice and smooth. I really like the way it came out. And uh, yeah, we're gonna start building our neighborhood. So now I start putting in the roads for this uh, residential area. Oh my God, I'm losing my words. Uh, yes, residential area. So I do a gridded pattern, but not a standard kind of grid pattern where it's just rectangles and all straight it's kind of on different angles and I kind of did that purposely just so it's a little more interesting um, I like grids I think most neighborhoods have some kind of grid to it but they also have some kind of angled roads as well and I'm just kind of play around with this and just get it to kind of look just a little bit more unique Next, it's time to add a district. So there we go with my painting. I, I'm not very, you know, I just paint. Anyway, as long as it's in the places I need it to be, that's good enough for me. So we're gonna use University City. And these guys look like slums when they first come in. They are filthy, dirty looking houses with the dirt all over the concrete it just did they're, they're horrible looking when they come in but they end up turning into really really nice houses so once we level these houses up they're gonna look really good so this is gonna make such a nice area later on once we get it up to a nice good level and they are gonna have a fantastic view of the whole city because they are slightly raised above most of everybody so yeah i do use all the uh green lined um roads 
and because I I put all these roads in I didn't realize that I had no commercial roads because I like to use my four lanes as commercial roads and then the two lanes as uh, residential and then the six lanes as just kind of getting people to and from those places so eventually I do change over some of the roads inside of here to uh, accommodate uh, some commercial now here I decide to use a big hospital and um, I just make this area quite unique so I put in some bigger buildings and I do end up putting in some unique buildings as well Here's where I come in and I change uh, two of those two lanes into four lanes to accommodate some commercial. I like the commercial on the four lanes and as soon as you start filling up residence you get a large demand for commercial. So I did want to make sure we could accommodate all the needs for that. So now that all the services are in, it's time to zone and yeah, it's going to fill in quite quickly. So this is always the fun part. So here I just jump in and take a look at the traffic. Now this is super red because we have a lot of uh, residents moving in and it lightens up later on, but still our traffic is between 87 and 90, so it's still not bad. Next, I head back to the airports, and I just want to add a little bit of tourism here. So this way we get some hotels coming in by the airport and the railroad. Next I come in and I add a bus line to the area to get them back and forth 
and then I'm going to actually put in a metro. Here I come in and add a metro to this area. Um, up by the train station, I did not run the metros to it because people would not take the trains. So I actually just add a metro station right underneath here and just connect it to this area. So this way they could take the metro to the train station and the trains to the rest of the city. Finally, I just used the spaces that I left to run some paths and this way the people can get around so much easier. They really do use the paths uh, as much as you, you put them in, they use them. So they do work wonders at keeping our traffic down. So that's going to conclude our episode for today and I hope you enjoyed. I really love the University City. I love the look of it when it levels up and I really like that we built up around the airport and the train station in there. I like the different elevation heights. I like the low density, high density, low density. It kind of transitions really nicely. Um, I also love this being up on this hill as you can see the city in the distance and it just really looks so nice. I love it. So next episode, um, I think we're going to start an oil industry, um, maybe some goods, and we'll probably put in another residential area um, in that empty space next to this one with some more University City and just kind of build it up. I'm hoping we hit that milestone of 65,000 soon and we'll also be able to put in some airports and the cargo and stuff. So yeah, I'm super excited for the next time and I hope you are too. So again, if you like, like, subscribe, comment and share and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.